Best thing you ate today. Oh shit, are we starting? Hold up! Hi everyone! <laughs> so Leah is going to ask me some quick fire questions and I'm going to answer them and hopefully this is like three minutes aka long enough to be like a legit vlog. Go. What's the best thing you ate today? What did I have? I had um, we went out like for a team lunch, Las Iguanas mm. and I had like these lamb meatballs because you know I love lamb with parmesan and like apple and nutmeg and it was like with rice but it's never enough rice like I need to stop ordering rice dishes at restaurants because it's always like two scoops of rice you need okay. to order a side of rice yeah like I'll have like Extra rice. rice and then I'll be like hey can you get me a side what do you want rice rice, rice. more rice <laughs> all the rice okay uh what are you most looking forward to about this weekend um being with my pals. I love you guys. I oh my gosh. And your gal pal. And my gal pal. And what's the best conversation you've had? Ever? Today. Today? Are we talking about today? It can be any day. We can talk about any day. Okay. Yeah. What's, what's the, best? the best conversation you've had this week? This week? Jesus. Who have I even talked to this week? Answer carefully. You, with you, babe. The <laughs> conversation we just literally had on that sofa. That was quite a good conversation. That was a good conversation. Yeah. What was the conversation about? The conversation was about... So there's this Richard Sykin quote, which I believe is a representation of me, right? Or like, sums up my life. And it's... What? Take your glasses off. Why? The reflection. Fuck. They're used to it. Okay. This is who I am. <laughs> like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna take my glasses off because the director said. Um, what I like directing. <laughs> you do. Oh, what it was it? The, it was like okay, the Richard Sykin quote, which is like the enormity of my desire disgusts me. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit more, but essentially, I'm like that's me, you guys, because you know I just feel like I want so much. Blah, blah, blah. Essentially. Exactly. We talked about Brazil too. We talked about Brazil. We talked about my, my inability to stay put. Tell me, tell us yeah. about your favourite moment of Brazil. Are you getting me to tell the story of my favourite moment? I feel like I'm going to have to do a story, like story time about Brazil. But maybe, essentially... Maybe do that then. Yeah. But it was like this moment where like I was in a taxi going to the airport and like driving through Lapa, which is a neighbourhood in Rio. Um, and like somewhere we only we know by the Keen, but no, is it Keen? Keen. Yeah, Keen, covered by Lily Allen. Um, started playing, and then it was like after what is after I'd been traveling for three weeks, and so it was like this moment of being like ready to go home. I'm ready to go home, but like ready to like I was ready to go to another city. I was like, yo, how do I get flights to Peru? Get me That's in. That's what we're talking about <laughs> today. But also, it was like, I'm ready to go home, like I'd met some interesting people, I ended up spending like a week or whatever in Sao Paulo, which I didn't plan on doing, but I did that, and yeah, it was like, it was like this cute moment. Those aren't questions. I say quick fire questions. Quick fire? We're not doing quick fire questions. I oh, know. You're like, tell the story! <laughs> okay, what's the best thing about it? The best thing about Vader, I think, has been like, I'm for, like I feel, f the re okay, the reason I started Vader was like, I want to do a YouTube vlog, right? Not even like, just for me, like I've wanted to do one for ages. Like there was that year where I traveled a lot and at the end of it, all I had was like a few pictures because I didn't really take pictures on my trips and nothing else much really. And I was like, oh, what if I like started vlogging? So I added it to my list of 25 things I do before I'm 25. Yeah. And, and then didn't do anything except like the llama video and then have like all these other videos I haven't put together like the Highlands one which I finally did and the Glasgow one. Mm -hmm. I have one from like when me and my dad went to the French Open that I've never done anything with like I have all this footage. So I was like I'll do Vader because me like it's this mental thing where I'll be like I'm, I'm obligated to meet a challenge mm -hmm. right so I'll do it every day and then hopefully afterwards. Like I'm motivated to do, if not every day, every week or every other week. Yeah. I don't know. Because you have like stuff to show that you can do it and you know. Yeah, so now I can know I can do it. Because like what, I started off, there was a time when I was like, oh, my challenge is to do like, um, 
to record and edit five videos. And now, thanks to Vader, I have. 11? Is it 11? Or 10? Or 12? Fuck it. I loads. Yeah, so now I have loads. So, what's the hardest thing? Thinking of vlogs. But also, like, making... I don't know, I think I've ended up with, like, a mix of quality of vlogs. Like, the Take a Break one is, like, my favourite so far. And then the one from yesterday was just like, look, I'm lucky I managed to do a vlog. <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, it was like stuff on my iPhone. It wasn't bad, but like, it would have looked different if I'd done it with my DSLR. But like, I couldn't be bothered to bring it out, even though I had it with me. And the general talking ones are like my least favorite. Like, I now know that's not what I want my vlog to be. That's good. Yeah. I think that's it. I that's think that's, that's, that's my whole yeah. brain. Yeah. <laughs> that's my brain. No. Um. Yeah. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Bye!